So if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you probably remember that I made a couple of shorts and I believe one or two long form videos on the Genki Shadowcast. It's basically just a capture card that you can use to capture gameplay for streams, for YouTube, and even just to use it to display on your computer when you're on the go. It's actually a really cool little device. Since then, I've had a little bit of communication from Genki and even have become an affiliate which is really great, really nice. I love the company. They're great people over there. And they seem to be doing what they're doing, not just for the money, but for the love of video games, which I really do appreciate. That being said, Genki actually announced the release of the newest versions of their most popular products and have launched a Kickstarter online to help fund the process of creating and shipping out these new products for consumers to enjoy. Now, those products are the Covert Doc 2, the Shadowcast 2, and then they now have a newer product called the Shadowcast 2 Pro, which I'm actually specifically looking forward to. And lucky for the channel, after going back and forth with Genki, they actually managed to send us out full units of these products, which I think is just awesome. The products aren't even out yet, they're still working on things like, like packaging and whatnot. So the fact that they gave it to us to take a peek at and kind of give our first impressions and, I, and thoughts is awesome. And guys, I'm just so excited to be able to open these up and share my first impressions with you guys. They sent it all in this box over here. They even left us a little note. It says, hey, Chris, thanks for being an awesome Genki fan. Please ignore any typos on the sample packaging. These are just placeholders since we were in a rush to get samples out and the finals will look different. We hope you enjoy the Alpine collection. I actually forgot to even mention that. So on the Kickstarter, they are selling these products in an Alpine white color. I'm not quite sure if they're gonna be widely sold in this color or if this is like an exclusive thing for backing the Kickstarter. But if I find any info on there, I'll put it on the screen or something. But yeah, guys, let's get into this. I wrote some notes on the older versions of these products so we can compare them and see how they were improved in this new iteration. And I'm just going to real quick take everything out of this box right here. All right, guys. So these are the three products that are being released. We have the Covert Doc 2. We have the Shadowcast 2. And we have the Shadowcast 2 Pro. This guy is the one I'm really excited for but I figure we'll work our way over to that. Why don't we start off with the Covert Doc? Because the Covert Doc's actually one product that I have never owned, and I'm really interested because overall, this is a very compact doc. And if you aren't quite familiar with what this is, basically, if you guys take a look at this packaging, again, this is all subject to be changed. But um, basically, what you need to know is the Covert Doc is like a tiny little guy that you can see right here and it can power and output to a TV without you having to bring around your giant switch dock. They've made some major improvements with this one. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's gonna work out here. But this is a standard, pretty simple box. You got the picture of the product. It says 4K60, which we'll talk about more in a minute. Uh, Multi-purpose, reliable, uh, compact charger, really cool. And then in the back, it just tells you a little bit about the product overall. It has USB-C Type-C. This runs at 3.0 speeds, which is really good. We have USB-A 3.1 accessories. So that's to power anything like a controller or something, which is great. And then it has HDMI display port AV out, which is your typical for any standard console. So that's really cool. They have a little pull tab here, which I'm really liking where these companies are going with these pull tabs instead of plastic. I think like Apple kind of started making that a thing. If not, correct me in the comments, but it's cool to see that other companies are adopting it. So when you open it, we got some information on their Discord. Thanks for the purchase. That's awesome. And then here is the product itself. I'm really curious. Okay, so it come, there's two different things going on here. So we got this top box, which I guess we'll open first. It may have just cords. Yep. So if we take a look at this, here's some instructions on the Covert Doc 2. Really cool, really nice. I keep saying cool, awesome. This is just really exciting, guys. Then we have the Type-C cable they provide. This is a really good quality cable if it's anything like the one I got with my original Shadowcast. It's a braided uh, like texture on it and it seems really sturdy and durable. So we'll just put that to the side. And then over here we have the dock itself, which I gotta admit, this is kind of hefty feeling. It seems pretty heavy for what it is, but it's really small. It fits 
in the palm of my hand overall. And this once again powers your game system as well as helps it display to a monitor or a TV. So that's really cool. It's really nice. Look at that. And then just in the box, I'm not sure if this is gonna come with every purchase or they're gonna send depending on where you live, but there seems to be adapters for different areas. I forget which is which. I wanna say this is the UK. Don't, honestly, strike all that. I don't know exactly and I don't wanna mess it up, but it's really good. You get these adapters and that's all that's in the box. So let's just take a quick look at this guy. So guys, as you can see, this is very similar to what the original one looks like it, besides the Alpine white, which is actually beautiful. And I do like that they incorporated some clear plastic into there as you can see inside. But uh, basically the thing that separates this from the original would be what it does, it's performance. So here I have written down that the original Covert Dock was able to output 1080p, whereas this Covert Dock, the Covert Dock 2, outputs 4K60, which is a big deal. Now this is going to be on sale on their website on Amazon in the future, and the original price is going to be $60, but if you support their Kickstarter, you'll be able to purchase it for $39, which is a pretty sweet deal. I didn't even mention this guys, but um, this is obviously just an unboxing and impressions. And I do plan on doing a more in-depth review on these products in the future once I am done with my move, which is going to be happening like two weeks. So this I'm going to mess around with in the meantime and write down my thoughts and you'll see a more elaborate video for all these products in the future, okay? Now that we got that out of the way, we also have the Shadowcast 2. Now, I do have my original Shadowcast right here. This little guy right here has gotten me through so many projects. I actually end up using this a lot more than my Elgato. Um, I believe it's a 60 HD 60S, just because it's so simple, it's easy to carry around. And at the end of the day, there's not a lot of wires other than connecting it directly to the console you choose and then plugging it into your computer, which is really beneficial. But let's take a peek at this guy. He's gonna be in Alpine as well. So let me see. So we got a tear to open right there. Oh, and it actually flips open like this. And there it is presented right over to you. So this is a clear white. It's not even like a, a, a full white like the covert dock it seems to be using the same plastic that's on top of it which is totally fine i actually dig that it's a clear white and let me see if i can get this guy out of here so um underneath it we got some instructions for the product and then we got another cable which is great let me see i think i have my original cable somewhere let me I have my original cable, give me one second. Okay, so this is the original cable I got with my Shadowcast, the first one. And as you can see, it is braided. It's a very good quality cable. It's got some plastic at the ends, but it's really enforced. It's good. I've never had a problem with this. I've had those Shadowcast for at least, I don't know, let's say two years. So it's really good. But if you take a look at this new cable, um, this seems to be metal at the ends, which is really good because that's good for reinforcement, but it still maintains that like braided design. It might be slightly different, but you know, I'm not mad. And this is also seems to be a lot shorter, which I mean, shouldn't be a big deal for most people, but you know, it's something to note overall, but I do like the design here. Now for the actual Shadowcast 2. Oh, okay, so here we got the white from the Alpine as well at the bottom or the top, depending on what you consider it. And then it's clear over here. So this guy, let's compare the size to the original. So they seem to be about the same size. I truly can't tell. Um, maybe it's a little wider, but I can't really tell at all. Like this wouldn't make a big difference to know anybody if they're traveling around with it. But let's take a quick look at the specs so we know what to expect. So, so the original Shadowcast was able to take in an input that was up to 4K30 and output 1080p30, which was very good at the time, very useful for something so small. Now, the Shadowcast 2 seems to be able to um, take an input of 4K60, and now it's outputting 1080p60. So that actually really does help because a lot of games now run 60 frames a second with the newer gen hardware. And overall, that's that performance is great for something this small in size, especially because it doesn't seem to have changed much in that size. So to be able to output 1080p 60 shows that there's a little bit of a bump in their technology there. 
And I think this would be very useful for most people if they're starting to create like a YouTube channel or want to start streaming. I've even seen people like Bob Wolf here on YouTube for Wolf Den. He um, tweeted that he uses these for his cameras to connect them to the computers for when he streams. So these are very usable for many different things, including streaming equipment. So definitely something to pick up. The The price on the Shadowcast 2 um, is going to, when it's released, it's going to be $50, but you can get it for $39 on Kickstarter if you support the campaign. So that's another nice deal right there. But I think this is going to be like one of the more common things that people pick up when they want to start streaming or content creation in general, for sure. Okay, so now it's time for my favorite. This is the Shadowcast 2 Pro. I'm not quite sure why they're calling it the Shadowcast 2 Pro. Um, maybe it's just to lump it in with this generation of products because they didn't have a Shadowcast Pro as far as I'm aware. I couldn't find anything on the internet. So this might be like a brand new product in general. So guys, this is like a completely different animal for Genki. This is probably the most powerful capture device they've made. So it does output 4K60, which is awesome for like current gen consoles, but it also accepts HDR and it also supports um, a variable refresh rate. So that's really cool overall because this guy is going to be like pack and power. We also get an instant setup called um, Genki Studio. This is available on iPad, I believe, and I'm not sure if it's on iPhone, but um, if you want to use your iPad as a monitor, you download that and you can use one of these. And that's basically all you'll need on the go. You could use this or you can use the smaller Shadowcast 2, which is going to be handy whichever one you get. So this is really interesting. It captures 4K60. Um, but you could also do 1440p at 144 frames per second. You could also do 1080p at 240 frames per second or 720p at 60 frames a second, which I think is a little weird. I don't know what the deal there is. It could be a typo on the box. Like they said, it seems to be able to also do um, HDR 10 bit and 1080p 60, which so you'll have to decide, do you want HDR or do you want the better resolution when making content, which there's always compromises you have to make there. It seems to work with the Switch, the PlayStation 5, Xbox, a Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and I'm sure there's even more. Anything that has an HDMI, I'm sure it'll work with. But uh, overall, this seems like a very competent product. Now let's just open this guys up and wow, okay. So it just like fall like falls open like this, which is pretty cool. We got the capture card itself, which beautiful with the gray now they added a gray tone to it and this is grippy very nice and um this is the front i believe this should light up when it has power and here is the io on the back so we have usb-c we have a uh, hdmi pass through and then an hdmi in so this would be the console this would go to whatever you're trying to capture with and then it has audio in and line in stuff. So this is very useful if you're a streamer or a content creator overall because it'll have access to all these things. It's really cool. Again, this feels really good in hand. And then it just has some grips at the bottom to keep it steady while it's on your desk, which is really cool. So let's just put this guy to the side real quick. And there seems to be stuff in the box as well. So, okay, so we got two wires here, which is great. So, oh wait, nope, we might have one more thing here. Up, oh, yep. We also have the manual for this device as well. And then we get another one of these braided um, USB-C cables, which is, this one seems to be pretty short as well. So, um, you know, the only one that comes with a long one seems to be the Covert Dock 2, but you know, Depending on your setup, you might need to grab another one, but this should be fine if you're starting off. And finally, this is the HDMI cable. For a lot of these products, they have to kind of bundle these in because some HDMI cables don't support the same speeds as others. If you get one of these, make sure that you use it with your device and not with something else because you will not get the same performance if you use a slower HDMI cord. So for the Shadowcast 2 Pro, this actually is going to be on sale for $160 when it's widely available. But on the Kickstarter, you can get this for $129. I would say the $160 price seems actually pretty reasonable as well, considering uh, there's a lot of Elgato cards and other competitors that are pretty expensive overall. But this seems to be a nice sweet spot, especially if you take advantage of that Kickstarter page. Now, the one other thing that I will mention is that if you realize you want more than one product, they actually have different bundles and different deals. So you will also be saving on that as well. But 
Overall, I think we're gonna have a pretty sweet lineup of new Genki products to be excited about. These are pretty dang affordable overall, and they're pretty compact for what each one of them can do. But I will have to say that I can't 100% endorse everything here just yet because I have to test them out and basically write up my scripts and what my thoughts on each of these devices when I have the time. But what it's looking like, it's looking pretty good overall. And I'm really excited to see what Genki has cooking up in the future. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I am technically considered an affiliate. So if you decide you want any Genki products on their website, you can use code PIXELCHRIS10 for 10% off your purchase. These guys right now aren't on there. You can only get it on the Kickstarter, which doesn't have a coupon. You're already getting a discount there. But when they're widely available on the website, you will also be able to use that coupon code for the 10% off if you miss the Kickstarter prices. But yeah, guys, tell me what you think. Do you think that these are going to be like the next step for Genki? Do you think a lot of people will want to pick these guys up? for their performance and their price. I think a lot of these are pretty reasonable overall. But um, again, I won't know the the quality or any ex the experience while using them until I create my review video. Let me know your thoughts. If you want to support their Kickstarter, once again, I'll be having it linked in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. It lets me know that you're enjoying this type of content. And be sure to subscribe if you aren't already for any type of video game, nerdy, pop culture-y content that you may enjoy. I make a lot of different videos on the channel. Yeah, I think that's it for this video, but I will catch up with you guys soon for the next one. Bye.